Do we ban Nuke this game? Or does Nuke go in? He banned him from G2 On Villa Kinda nice You get less projectiles You can impact trick easier Doesn't change anything massively I don't think But it's it's okay Nuke is banned as As we thought That's good Then I don't think Miro survives Nope Okay And then It's a Womai A Kaido or a Goyo Does Valkyrie stay open? Oh it could be a Sami too Oh is D2 banning? I wanna say Womai I wanna say Womai I don't know Ah it's me Lucy it will come through mm. That's a, that's an old school Shaco ban from back in the FPL days. <laughs> Surprised Milusi's banned with Nook being banned? Because like normally like Milusi's like the Nook counter. Uh Milusi ban on Villa. Not bad at all because staircases, but I don't know. It doesn't speak to utility at least. So IQ being played first round to match the Valkyrie. I like this a lot. NA is very, very sh like afraid of using IQ for the most part because like you lose so much utility, and you don't have any ADS clear from BTS. You have, you know, four grenades and that's it. So all you got is the Thatcher EMPs really. And you're playing Omai and you're playing Jaeger, so these grenades, unless being thrown from below, shouldn't find a whole lot of value. Is there no Walden Eye from T2? No. No Walton Eye. With the banner being banned, Walton Eye is really strong because Selma Charge is a low value because you only get three of them. So either playing Mute Jammer uh, or playing like Impact Grenades especially is great. That way you also force out the EMPs because like you need to use one EMP to use one Selma, which is again very good value. Yeah, up nades or nades using below going up. The EUL casting crew, they call them up nades. So whenever you're nading from below with the intent of like killing. I learned it from Jack yesterday when I was casting with him. In NA we just say they're nading from below, but they say up nades. Nades going up. Alma gets Renshi, that's Sledge off the board, Shackle falls too, Brick goes for a default plant. That smoke should get him, and it does. It does, it does, it does. Now we're just injured those are no more smoke grenades. Doki gets found, cover yeah see not planning default so the verticals don't matter Rafael 1v1 so is injured Rafael's in a very good spot here to win this round if he had really big balls you could breach in charge the soft wall for oh okay he's trolling and you could uh essentially create another uh, entry point citizen clutches one over g2 Snapshot like a bear trap there at the end as well, Tim. Citizens, his reaction time terrifies me. And the thing is, you've got both. I mean, Shaco Citizen is always good in these. Like Citizen, Citizen and Shaco in a one v one, they play very different than most people, because they will just run at you. Like they are so confident in their gunfights that they will just take that gunfight. Whereas if you do, uh, let's say it was me against Shaco, which that's happened a couple times before I retired. I would like play slow, hold angles, position myself. Shaggo just fucking chases you like a fucking maniac, just like to force that gunfight. And this is kind of similar. I'm very, very uh, surprised Rafael peaked that. He could have just walk top main, could have walked back through side. It might have been that he didn't have a drone diffuser, and he didn't. Like, I couldn't hear the diffuse either. He was getting red spotted by the Valkem and study. So there's a couple things there. But they trust their aim like so much that they don't care about their positioning that much. MP, Selma, boom boom. Again, no impacts from G2 to deny this wall. So this is like Shaco. Like Shaco might just walk in now. Sometimes he does that. He just like walks in. Like, I'm surprised I see got the kill, but as I said, Shaco walked in, so my prediction was accurate. Sometimes Shaco just does that. And then all these doors are barricaded. Ah, that's a yikes, boys. As nice as those doors being barricaded can be, because you're afraid of the bombs are being vulnerable. If you need a retake. 
Like, it's such a bad thing. Oh. And then it should be unwinnable because of verticality here. Because there's no med above. It's one of those where you look at and just think, for Alan, he had a massive 3k back in round one. And is this his time to shine up once again? With only about 10 seconds left to find two yeah. on the verticals in full control. Carl, yes. where are you going, buddy? Where are you going? So, this one should be a much more stabilized outbreak. So, G2 had a. A lot of roamers. Not a whole lot of side prisons. No impacts, neither breach. Asami Castle extension, big fan. Question is, do you play closet or not? It seems like they are. No, it's the feed hole. So not playing closet actively. Note that BDS are playing no hard breach. They actually have zero hard breach at all. This is something that we see more and more in Villa. We saw this in Latam, we see this in North America, where you play no real hard breach operator and you just play more utility. And you're trying to win the round of getting kills in the first minute and a half and getting map control. And also, because of Attack and Repick being in the game, there's no real way for defenders to know if you have a hard breach or not until it's too late. So it's not like they can just like play safe now, because they, they don't know, they have no idea. Get out in the map, look to challenge them early on and find a wonderful That's a good swing. A That's the sort of stuff you're looking BDS. for. BDS. Okay. Down goes the finger as well. You've lost both those big Let's uh, run in study with main dot being closed and just challenge top main one by one. That really awkward mid round that they aren't very strong in. And that is where you'll find victory. Fantastic start from G2 there. And that is exactly nah, what dude, what is this? Now it's the Lynch's turn. One by one by one by one, by one and no fucking drones. Next guy, next guy, next guy. Meanwhile, Bride is on the master bedroom balcony, just using all his florist drones to clear out the castle barricades. But like, while you're doing this, your team is just dead. Like, look, he's broken this, he's broken that, he's broken that, here comes another one, that's gone as well, but like, what's the point? Look, Q Barry goes out, Flores Drone goes in. Like, this is just like trading utility, but for no real purpose. It's like, either you go master pit room or not, you can't, like, you can't do this. I mean, there's no way G2 loses this. There's no way. Thank you, Vites Horse EG. Le triple! And absolutely slaps the limbs off the master bed there. And that leaves us now. The timing is so bad. No choice for Breeder, but to try and get himself inside. BDS making it easy for G2 on these rounds. Yeah, we can, we can, we can scratch that round. That round did not exist. Nothing happened. That that was not real from BDS. I don't understand. No hard breach. The no, the no hard breach is fine. Like not playing hard breach is quite normal in Villa. You don't need it. You don't. The issue is main door wasn't open up. Two guys walked in study with no drone. Doki got both kills one by one. Then the third guy walks in up with no drone. It's not good. Like, take down this control. Work up the main stairs. Clear top main. Drone out. 90 repel cut off the... Like, something, man. Something. Right now, it's like, if BDS just walks in and Shaco gets the open and kill, BDS can win. If Shaco walks in and dies, it's like, fuck. What do we do now? So we're doing a roam clear, it looks like. Going to go master over. Which, pretty good if you look at the setup here on top main. Do a bit aggro got one outside, studying Shaco tried to refrag. Yeah, but don't, that's not how refragging works. That's not a refrag. Shaco was chasing. 
A refrag is when you trade your teammate out shortly after he dies. Walking into study with no drone is not a refrag. That is a stupid ego play. If Doki swings out a Grizzly and gets a kill, you cut your losses and you go and reset. You open up main door, you drone out lobby or you come to study with the sledge, you drone out that top main area, you drone in your entry, you take map control. Otherwise, the second Shaiko walks in and dies, the round is literally over. So you can either throw the round in 20 seconds, or you can just slow it down and play that 4 vs 5 and have a chance to win at least. Just about discipline, really. Double Claymore is absolutely disgusting. I'm so happy that it's not like a huge deal in rank, but double Claymore is like ridiculous that is in the game, in my opinion. Prana move these ADSs? Yeah, yeah, you move your utility once the round starts. So because that we know that they're going for a master bedroom clear, you can then rotate your ADSs or your, your shield, your Baba, whatever, into a different position. It's good value. Yes, yeah, Spots got really good discipline, does. Same with Bolo back when he joined. Well, they also need to stop the upnades being played, Des, because Citizen is under the PDS are being carriage like carrot I can't say it, dude. They're being slow as always. Charistically? Fucking slow as always. Look at the timing, he gets up the main stairs. Easy kill because again, no drone, no trade, no refrag, no one's nearby. There's a teammate in art who's not swinging. I'm not sure what that is. Coming back the other way, Shiko, the nade coming through finally and finding its target, even through Magnet's ADS. Yep, swing, it. swing, swing. So there's no one study balcony then? I guess not. No, they can't be. Study door is closed still. Come on, there's 20 seconds left. Man. Is this plannable, actually? C4 is a, uh, Citizen's a C4. Now they're both below. Yeah, it's plannable. This bomb will go down. Oh. Rafael, you've been here before, my guy. Did you... <laughs> he didn't clear the camera and study again. There's still a Valcam there. Man. Like... We're playing IQ, but we're not cleaning out the Valkyrie cameras. That's deja vu, yeah. I don't know. Why, I, I just don't understand. Like, why is Rafael rotating at 19 seconds to study Balcony? And then BDS are executing before that. So study door is closed. No one is on study Balcony. Doki's inside a study himself. Adam Al can swing the bomb side door. And it's just a fucking nightmare. And then you play IQ, but you don't use the scanner. Like, you died last 1v1 in that clutch because of Alchemist spotting you. You lost this round to a pre-fire because of Alchemist spotting you. And you know it's there, or you should know it's there. And he had plenty of time to deal with it. You scan it when you're on the roof before you go on the rappel. You make a mental note where it is. When you go in and you kill Doki or you, you know, force him down the hatch top, you shoot that Alchemist camera, then you start holding your angles. It takes one second. One second. Also, he's not playing the G8, so he's kind of trolling there. He's playing the Og. So last time D2 had four roamers, only one got inside. Shaco walked in, Pantry Roll opened up. This time, they got Kite Claw on the wall, but Thatcher is open. So I think it's quite smart bringing the Nomad along here just to kind of cover off the path. To <laughs> this drone. I love this camera from Breed as well. Why would you ever look behind the candle? Yep. Case, down there come oh, down but it's the shotgun. The so Shaiko didn't there. boost himself for that gunfight. And there is a chance Shaiko would have survived if, if, if he had overhealed himself first. Because you see, no one's overhealed, so he didn't use his stim. There is a chance he would have survived that shotgun shell. 
That right there is a refrag or a trade. That was well played from G2, especially think, seeing as they didn't know that they had info on them. That's G2 playing close enough together to actually get a meaningful trade, even if they're low on HP. What's going on with your on Why? Well, I think 1.5x on defense is way too good. So you play the MP5K. MP5K is a worse weapon, but the scope is better, and scopes are very important. Good night. This round being no different without Yeah, fire it too. Fire it's like a down at the bottom of main stairs, for example. Play style slash personal preference. Fire it's always good to have. But Orc does more damage. So like for certain instances, damage will always beat fire rate. Like slight uh, tiny angles, drone holes, poke damage, etc. But fire rate is generally speaking always preferred by most players. That's it, he knows that this 45 seconds is one, one shot headshots. more valuable at this point inside of sight because that's where the pressure is mounting. Rafal manages to find Alamo was on low health anyway, but it is down to two, okay. down to one as Virtue finds Rafal. This should be a BDS round, Virtue has no C4. Virtue back on reflex grind. Back when he joined D2 originally from Fnatic, he was always a reflex player. He's kind of been going back and forth. He had like a red dot situation going on for a while. He's back on reflex. Yeah, some people's playstyle is better online. I mean, Shanko's a good example. While Shanko is a good land player, Shanko's playstyle is like disgusting online because of how leaning is kind of a, like broken online with high ping. Playing like super aggressive with leaning is like a lot stronger on ping than on zero ping. So, spawn ping is just very risky. It's normally not really seen as well, <laughs> as worth it unless you're like you're far behind or something. I do like how Alamar is playing that position. Two soft walls, one rotate. I, I actually I like this rotate because if they don't clear this, you can sneak in, and you can just like apply so much pressure. But because BDs are playing the uh, the floor is, it does make this a lot weaker than usual. Where if you don't have the floor is, you don't you need like 20 grenades. You know, it's very strong. Because look how much time you waste in utility, like four floor drones, one grenade. Obviously, you got them to kill the board for your team. They still cannot get into master bedroom. This is a nice adaptation. Like bathroom window is always good here. The question is, does D2 have any astro presence? It doesn't look like that's the case. Like staircase is not enough. The only issue here is that only really Prano has a 1.5x. Uh, I guess Virtue does as well, assuming that he plays it. But you don't really have a lot of scopes in defense with this lineup. We had a shot like this back in Kemto days where we played like Rook and Duck. And we open up the entire software like they have. And we played like 2.0 scope or ACOX back then they were. Good trade there from Prano is on the flank as well. Now the thing is, this is breeding a 1v1. It's a bit more formidable than uh, Rafael. Yup. Yup. It's breeding against Prano. It's not Citizen, it's not Rafael, and therefore this clutch goes the other way. And you got AK-12, which is like the best gun in the game, so there's that. I feel like Prano could have played that better, because they had the bulletproof camera that Breedy never killed. So, if you start walking backwards as Breedy starts walking up, you can force Breedy into a plant position with no time. Uh, and or, you gotta swing, right? You gotta be the one swinging usually. So it's like kind of like either or. Seconds but yeah. Getting the kill. The oh, blitz from Doki. Okay, dude. Blitz, Jackal, Doki. I like this. I like this. I don't think Doki's a shield player, but let's see. So is this like a main stairs like study rush? Because Jackal and I are now roam clearing map. It's a split take. It's a split take, but you have Blitz, Dokkebi, and no hard breach. So we're not rushing, I guess. No, that Doki's slow walking, not to make noise to give away the Blitz. Mm. I would like this a lot more if they weren't split. 
split taking this. Because now both sides are kind of weak, right? If Rome clears weak, the rush is weak. Uh... Okay. Wait. That's not what I thought was going to happen. That was... Why is Prano a diffuser on study balcony still? Because they got the bump site. Like, they cleared bar. They got plane. But then there's no diffuser. And Doki gets 1v1 on the site. And now they've retaken the site. What? Maybe the plan was just to create chaos. You sacrifice Elemao 90 and you sacrifice Doki to get kills. But that seems like such a bad plan. Because then it's like a massive gamble. Like what if Doki does die? What if Elemao didn't get a kill? Like what if there's no trade? Like your entire strategy is to try and bait a kill? Citizen underneath looking to work with those vertical nades. There's the jackal ping is mm. going to come Thank along. You. But the, the problem with the jackal ping here is normally when you're looking for vertical. That's your nades, last you grenade as well. So you do play the 2v3 out. The ping, and the defender doesn't know. So they don't step away. As soon as they get hit with a jackal track ping, you saw what happened. They move away from that spot immediately. So it's not really uh, the best tandem to have with getting those vertical nades. Now then, Keeper Barricade oh, is going to seal off the door. Shaiko is going to seal The shield is still there. They could have needed to shoot from below, but they were fishing for a kill instead. Oh. Keeper Barry is all here. And there. So... Prano was staying on study window to hold the top main and slash slash office flank, which is not a bad thing in theory. But if you have diffuser, that means that you're rushing the bomb side, and you, even if it worked out flawlessly, you can't plant. And then Prano has to somehow get escorted into bomb side to plant. So either Blitz should have had diffuser. Or there should have been another member because like Citizen was like on, in Master Bedroom or like Jackal was in Master Bedroom, right? Roam clearing. So had you had another guy there to hold study window, Prano follows the Blitz. Then you can hold top red, you can plant bar, you're in a decent position. But there was no follow up. And there are two members not even there. Because Virtue was in Master Bedroom and the Citizen was outside the building rotating when it happened. In the lead. That is the big question. That's kind of rough. Maverick and Villa? Yep. Uh, Maverick and Villa is nice because you get nades, but you already have four. You can't breach Ma- I mean, most teams do with Master Bedroom while oh, like soft, like T2 does, so Maverick is like useless. But yeah, I'm not a fan of Maverick and Villa. That's for sure. You can't do anything on study side. You can't really do anything in, in kitchen attack. You can't do anything on master attack. Like it's not really a great operator for the gadget. The nades is the only good thing here. But I would rather play. I would rather like skip the Sophia and play like a real hot breacher and then play Sledge or something. Sledge also obviously works great against Castle, which is a big issue right now. Yeah. Prano. Prano is not playing the LMG. He's playing the Spear on Finca. Someone cuffed this guy. That's illegal. That is actually not okay. He has like the best gun in the entire game and the Spear. And he uses the Spear. Nah. Nah. Maybe he knows that the Finger Nervous Car Ace that you fucking deserve it. That's what you fucking deserve, Prano. That's for using the Spear. Why did Shaka not punch that Castle Barricade earlier? Why did he take 20 years to do that? 
running straight through the spider's web. Because he did punch the castle, but now he's dead. Beautiful stuff from Shaiko. Yes, gets traded out by Doki, which is a great bit of cover coming back in. But how on earth he's got past G2 drones there and got out that window is anyone's guess. Citizen, one more back, and it looks like G2 might start equalizing this one up, Tim, given they're already in a four. Block. Five Kiba barriers is too much. It really is. This time around, it, might be it really is too much. I still think a, a good nerf is you do uh, you do four keep it barriers, and then you increase the cooldown. So you get your fourth Q barrier at like one minute left in the round. Because right now you get all five at 140. Which means that less than less than halfway into the round, you get all five Q barriers. Like this is the most attacker side of the game has ever been. Since Lion. Good night, Shaco. Shaco and Valkyrie is kind of interesting because like the gun is so weak. The MPX. Okay, okay. Virtue, LMG, flawless round. And G2 take another round here to go to five. This is like a very big mess of a, of a game. Once again, edge themselves into the lead. All right. Uh, what's Shaiko's name on R6 tab? You know, yes, we've spoken. Shaiko BDS. Let's scout. Let's scout operators real quick. Just for fun. You've got, Let's you see, know, operators. Support line behind that. Prano, Alamo, Where is Valkyrie? Able to facilitate, play flex, do what's needed for the team. And These are all attackers. Uh, Ivan is on here. Ivan is here. They're going to be towards the top of the table. So Valkyrie. <laughs> 47 <laughs> minutes. This is real. No in between for these, I don't think. Yep, kills. With Valkyrie, nine. He's got nine kills with Valkyrie. Oh, God. His KD is like 0. 0.69. 0. 0.69. This man does not play Valkyrie. <laughs> uh. This one might be a little bit more hairy. It's funny. Smell and over time kind of on the Bro, he's got 8,500 on Ash. And Ash isn't even a meta operator anymore. I'm the I, I, I what are my hours in smoke? R6 Dragon. Sort of I must have most, most smoke hours I mean, these days. From, you know, the same, same sort of, uh, the I, I'll tell you what. I really feel like someone's missed out if all the lady in the magic. Ah, I, st really I still have more Jaeger hours, dude. Fuck off. Fuck off. And everyone's an Ash main too, it's fucking ridiculous. Blackbeard is still second most played as well. Jesus. I played five minutes of Floris. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure everyone from like year one has Ash Yeager's most played as well. That seems to be the case. Yeah, I got a really good KD on Blackbeard. It's like, <laughs> got like a three plus KD in like thousands of hours. It's pretty bad. Did Rinchi? I do want to commend G2 for playing Capital, although uh, maybe not the best use of the fire. Like we fire, then we smoke, then we ying the same angle. Okay, okay. I feel like that fire could have been used elsewhere, but maybe that's just me. 30 seconds, good candela from Alamo actually. Flashes vault, can flat. Oh, he missed. That's actually good. It might cost you. Gotta spend another one. Got two more smokes. Virtue swings aggressively. Could have just stayed on any repel, surely. I feel like you stay on 90. 90 D for Cam is up! No, guys. Guys. No one shot the 90 D for Cam when three guys rappled in, basically. Oh, no. So both of them, you know, obviously happy default going 90 cam. I was gonna type kick on it with K. Oh no, should the worst happen, and it is gonna happen for one of them. That's tough. Man, opportunity. You feel at the minute, like, see, it's stuff like that that cannot happen at this level of play. You cannot not shoot the 90 cam. This really is a matter of who's the worst team. Holy fuck. It's like, it's a very small innocent mistake, but that 90 default cam is just like, it's like not shooting default outside cams. It cannot happen. I don't know why Europeans basics are so different than other regions. I really don't know. It's not like they don't have good teams or good players. They do. It's not like they're not like innovating or like changing rosters and players and teams. They are. 
But for whatever reason, Europe's like fundamental gameplay is not very high skill level compared to like NA, for example, or even Latin, which is very odd to me. I always thought EU had like the best fundamentals and NA was a better like gun region. Same with Latin, like Latin's better gun skill. But EU could always kind of like outstrat or outperform in that regard. Because think about it, Europe has worse communication because of language barriers and accents. We now have worse fundamentals, worse gunplay. Like we have like individual players with like shining stars, like Citizen Shaiko in this matchup, for example. But we don't really have like crazy aggressive super teams or like crazy strategic super teams like DC and NA or let's say Oxygen and NA or whatever. How like NIP, you know, during Latsum's reign, they played super crazy aggressive to success. So we don't have that the same way. Not in my experience, at least. Shango's played a lot of operators this game, by the way. He's played like three, or like four different defenders. The Lambs found Virtue. Yellow ping, easy kill. Trade from Pantry. Like, why would Shango be in Pantry, you know? That's, that's what I'm thinking. That's what Citizen's thinking, too. Prano dead ass went for a grenade cook with an impact grenade above his head. I want to see OT. Let's go. Let's go all the way to eight seven. Fuck it. Let's see as many rounds as possible before this nightmare ends. We might as well. Like the tier two and tier three scene, if this happens, would basically die completely. Because nobody's gonna play Challenge League without being able to qualify for Pro League. Like, that's why you play it, right? Oh, no. Alright, Shaiku is, like, literally just pissed at Virtue at this point. This is the second time he just runs him down. Shaiku on Alibi now. So that's his fifth defender. Oh, this is over. Oh. Oh, God. Good game, everybody. Good game. What an absolute bloodbath of a final round. It was over in 20 seconds. Oh, Fabian's not happy, huh? Maybe a few glimmers. We had a little bit of decent roam clearing. Doki had a good Don't let Fabian talk about this game. He wants to talk about the game. Don't let him talk about the game. 